workshop will give you an opportunity to understand how libraries are changing, what is the changing role of librarians, and how you need to develop libraries according to the needs of the users, because users' needs are also changing. Libraries are no more just a, a storehouse of publication. It's a happening palace, a place and how you make it more. It is not important how many users are coming to your library. Important is how many you are reaching out through technology and also because you, don't, you can't compel, compel anybody to come to the library. This program is basically IT applications on library information sciences. Now, you can say this is not only the, uh, uh, you know, FDP for library science, but also IT application. And this will also be used for research tool, which Dr. God just talked to you. So, we are trying to combine in such a way that this will help you in teaching learning, in research, and in, in, in your uh, uh, improvement as, as uh, you know, library, librarians or as teachers in your classrooms. So, uh, you know, uh, this is why, that is why, you know, these kind of programs are very useful for teachers from all over the country. Now, another important aspect is the research. Sometimes we feel that teaching, library, uh, research, they are quite separate to each other. But friends, let me tell you that everything is so well connected that without library, you cannot do research. Without library, you cannot do teaching. Uh, Dr. God is an expert. He has explained to you. But today, I 100% agree that the library usage is changing. So we have to see, librarians have to be innovative how library can be made useful for teachers, for researchers, and for students. You know, when, when we were students, we used to go to the library to, to make notes. Now that concept is over because IT, uh, you know, has taken over that. But still, there is a lot of, uh, you know, application of IT in library which can be very useful to the student, to the teachers, and to the researchers. So, friends, these are the things which are extremely important. And we need to understand that, uh, you know, the, the application part, the, the uh, uh, you know, learning part, the delivery part, the content part, and the learning outcome part are extremely important from teaching, uh, uh, teaching learning and research. The government is very seriously thinking of making it compulsory to have a pre-induction training of at least three to six months. You must have gone through the document of national education policy and it is prominently mentioned. So, so at least now onwards we, would, we can expect that uh, there would be uh, more seriousness and even teachers would also realize that pre-induction training is very important for them because unless you have Subjects like use of IT, use of modern teaching methods, use of, use of library for instance and re research methodology, these are the subjects. I mean normally teachers don't teach to the graduate level students but then when the time comes to teach, they almost they forget everything. Moreover, the importance of such training programs is that you come here to revise whatever you have learned. You come here to revise, to renew, and to refresh. And these are three important things. You come here to revise, to renew, and to refresh. And it so happens that we never get time to revise whatever we have studied during our master's course or PhD program. Information technology is a very good tool, excellent tool to improve my efficiency, my management of knowledge in the library and that should be explored to its fullest extent. And number two is that information technology which you would all learn during the course of time, Dr. Gore is an eminent expert how these tools can become more users friendly so that more and more people can use them 
to retrieve their information and knowledge. My sincere best wishes to you. Thank you very much.